When creating a digital breakout, one way you can create interactive clues is by creating a graphic in Google Drawings that includes hotspots or links to documents, articles, or outside websites. These interactive graphics can easily be embedded on a Google site that is housing your digital breakout game. So let's take a closer look at how we can easily create this graphic in Google Drawings. I'm going to start by opening up Google Drawings, again by going to drawings.google.com in a new tab. And my first step will be to find my background image. So I'm going to click on insert in the menu bar, image and select search the web. I will type in the term science lab and here I will scroll through the results to find an image. Please note that all of the images shared in the results are part of Creative Commons, which means that the copyright allows us to use these images in our presentations as well as in our assignments. So I found my image, I've clicked on it, and I'll just simply click Insert and make a few minor adjustments to the size of the image. Now I'm ready to start adding hotspots. So let's start by adding a visible hotspot or link to a clue. What I mean by visible is that I'm actually going to find another image to paste on top of this image so that it should be visible to participants. I'm going to go to insert image and notice that I have the choice of uploading an image from my computer, searching the web, searching my Google Drive, searching by a URL, and I have the camera feature where I can use the camera built into my device to snap a picture. In this case, I want to search the web. I'm going to be linking to a Google Map, so I'm going to search for Google Maps and find a PNG of the Google Maps icon. I'll select it and click insert. We'll resize that image. I'm going to make it quite small because I'm gonna hide this particular image in plain sight. I'm gonna put this image on this scientist's file folder. All right, now I need to get the link for the specific map that I want to link to. So I've already loaded that map in Google Maps and I'm simply going to click the share button and notice that I can send a link or embed a map. I'm just going to copy the link here and I'll return to my Google drawing. I'm going to select that icon of Google Maps and click Control K on my keyboard, which is the shortcut to insert a link for this particular image. Control V allows me to paste that link in and I simply click apply. Now, when my participants are viewing this particular image, if they click on that Google Maps logo, they will see a link to this specific Google Map. Let's go back to our drawing in Google Drawings. Now, not all hotspots have to be visible, like our link to our Google Map clue. I can hide hotspots or links to clues on my background image by turning items in this background graphic into hotspots. Let me show you how. Let's say that I wanted to make one of these beakers into a link to one of the clues. I could simply click on shape, select a shape, and draw that shape around the beaker. Now, right now that shape is filled in and it's covering the beaker, that's fine. What we're gonna do is before we make any adjustments to this shape, we're gonna add a link to it. So again, I can press Control K to insert a link when I have that shape selected, or I can select the shape and here in my toolbar, click the Insert Link button. Now this time, I'm going to link to a clue or document that is in my Google Drive. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive folder and find that file. 
I will right click on that file and click share. Now the first thing you want to make sure of is that your sharing permissions are set so that your participants will actually be able to view the file. If they're not set appropriately, you can simply click on the drop down and you can always click more to see more options. I'm going to set this to on anyone with the link and leave it set to can view and click save. I'll copy this link and I'll go back to my drawing. I'll paste the link here and click apply. And now that link is connected to this shape, but I don't want this shape covering the beaker. So what I'm going to do is simply select the shape again and click on border, make the border transparent, click on the fill color for the shape, make sure the shape is selected, and again, make that fill transparent. Now, if I click off, I do not see an outline of the shape or any sort of coloring over top of that beaker. I only see the beaker. But if I click on that beaker, notice that I have a link to the document. And if I click on that, I'm redirected to that PDF clue. Let's go back to our drawing one more time. Now, please keep in mind that if you are building your digital breakout game in a Google site, you cannot go file, download, and download this as a JPEG or a PNG image. Instead, you will want to actually add this Google drawing to the site from your Google Drive. I will show you how in the next video.